funny. I remember the first time I actually had to say that, that I, I told my sister. And it was like, it was really weird making those words come out. You know, it, and it's one of those deals, you know, everyone has some type of experience with cancer, or you will, with personally, family. You, you know, it was a shock. Uh, kind of disappointed that he didn't share it with us, but we understood why he didn't. And it was, uh, and it was emotional. You know, we're, uh, we're a pretty close group of guys. Yeah, I think so. I think anytime, anytime you, uh, you get something like that, you know, when you're cruising, kind of on cruise control, I guess you might say, through life, and uh, it, it, I think in a lot of different ways, it, you know, whether it's your job or your uh, your family, your relationship with, with God, you know, yeah, it's definitely, definitely a wake-up call. I went back to school the first day I was there. I was still a little tender because that was only when did we start back? Middle August. Yeah. yeah so, so, so it was you about four weeks. Yeah. I think I was in, and and I remember going to back to school night, and you know the kids, of course, elementary kids, they love to still hug and stuff. And one little girl came and jumped into my arms, and I was like, oh, and I, I mean, I literally had to, I caught her, but had to like kind of let her down to the ground because yeah. I, I could kind of feel it in my abdomen a little. I, I have to be assured that God has a reason for everything and has a purpose for that. And that, you know, and part of that I don't think is for me to just sit back and say, well, okay, well, you had cancer and, and, and it's good now, you're good, so let's just go from there. I, I, and that's why I say I've become a vocal, active, vocal advocate to get word out there to men that, you know, it's cancer, but it can be cured, it can be uh taken care of if it's caught in time, obviously. You know, there was no hesitation. No, uh, of course, being there for Kurt and his family during the time, however we can, uh, you know, we did, we did what we could there. And then, uh, you know, moving forward, you know, and, and he, we've talked multiple times about him uh, wanting to be an advocate and a spokesperson as, you know, what can we do? What do you want to do? Let's, you know, whatever you want, let, let's do it because it's, uh, and it's important, you know what I mean? And, and had he not gone through it, we probably wouldn't be talking anything about it. And so it's, uh, you know, whatever we can do to, to get that word out there, you know, and I, this is really simple and this is a great way, like we said, uh, not only will coaches be wearing it, all of our kids will be wearing it, you know, and then our kids wear those hats out and about in their communities. And uh, it's, it's easy to do, like I said, it's uh there's no obligation whatsoever. It's a family thing, and, and it's what else can we do, yeah. you know?